Are you simping for a girl? You are? You're not? You're not sure? Then you're in the right place because you're about to discover the seven signs of simping over text. If someone calls you a simp, they're not saying you're a simpleton. A simple person lacking common sense. It's quite a bit worse. The now popularized phrase was actually invented in the American ghettos of the 80s. And simp stood for somebody or sucker who idolizes mediocre pussy. Anyway, simp doesn't exactly mean what it meant 40 years ago. So what does it mean today? According to one of the highest upvoted definitions on Urban Dictionary, which means pretty much nothing, a square with no game other than rolling out the red carpet for every female. So it's pretty similar to the phrase nice guy, which is given to guys who do nice things for girls, hoping to get sexual favors in return. Most guys find it incredibly difficult to tell a girl what they're after if what they want is sex, intercourse, coitus. So they lie and say they're looking for a relationship, say they're not sure, say they're open for anything, say they enjoy meeting new people, say, well, pretty much anything but the truth. Why are they hiding their true intentions? Because they are afraid. Afraid to say something she might not like because it might push her away. Which shows that they're desperate to have her and it also shows that they're a simp. <laughs> One of the biggest signs you're a simp is that you will do anything she says. Can you help me with my homework? I'm going to a party tonight. Can you pick me up when I go home? My boyfriend is coming over tonight and I have to work late. Can you go over to my place and tidy up? The keys are under the doormat. But make no mistake though, if you ever catch yourself doing favors for her just in hopes that she like you, you're being a classic simp. A more subtle way of simping is when you're being overly chivalrous. Chivalrous? Chivalrous? Chivalru? Chivalry, which in real life could be things as pulling out her chair, buying her flowers, opening up the door for her. But chivalry over text looks very different. Usually it looks like long, sweet messages with overly sweet prose. For example, this thing. Thing on your screen right now. Hey, my sweet baby angel 69, princess of my life, mother of my children, hopefully in the future. How are you? You have such a phenomenal smile and I would truly love to take you out on the greatest date ever. If you give me hmm, 10 consecutive messages and aren't interested in me, I won't ever speak to you again. However, if you are interested, I get to take you on a one-of-a-kind date that will result in you smiling so much that your cheeks will have abs. <laughs> Well, I hope I can maybe earn a chance to get to know you. Do you tend to write her long volumes that cement your position as a doorman? You're a sim. <laughs> Let's keep this one brief. Does your bio have genuine romantic things that you want to do with your Tinder date? <laughs> You're seriously simping. Especially if it's anything close to this guy's bio. Would you like to have a relationship that 99% involves me catering to your every whim, supporting you financially and giving you head? You can also date and or fuck other people and I will still remain faithful. One way open relationship. Yes, I'm legit serious. If I'm into you, obviously. If anyone cares, <laughs> I have three master's degrees. Engineering, sociology and history. I'm a certified massage therapist and I produce EDM lol and I'm a massive fucking simp. On the other hand, if simping genuinely makes you happy, then is it really simping? We'll save that question for sharper minds to figure out. <laughs> this sign does not need much explanation if you're getting a random text notification from a random Tinder match and it makes your chest flutter, well, <laughs> you're a simp. It means you might be seriously desperate for attention from women and it is a sign that you live in scarcity and it is also a sign that you are a simp. No problem, my man. I've got your back. Try my free profile checklist to get more matches and feel less simping urges. You can find it in the video description below. I will accept thank yous in the form of wedding invites. <laughs> Some guys I know will act tough in front of the boys, but when they're home alone texting with a cutie from Tinder, they turn into little 
simps. What happens? Afraid to rock the boat, they keep the conversation very safe and try very hard to avoid saying anything she may not like. Not only is that a major turnoff, after all, you're saying anything that you think will get her to like you. It is a very big sign that you're a simp. So disagree sometimes. If you use the word simp a little too much, then this part here is for you. Believe it or not, women do not like assholes. But they likely have a tendency to be more attracted to men who have traits of prestige and dominance. So it's not so much about being aggressive or an asshole. Women generally simply like men who are in a position of power. Which is no different than a dude being more attracted to a lingerie model than an average girl. Instead, focus on climbing the competence hierarchy and honing your social skills. And don't take this whole simp thing too seriously. Make no mistake, I'm not against guys having emotions. Watching Simba trying to wake up Mufasa still brings tears to my eyes to this Dad? day. And so does half of Marley and me. And the part of the Kanye documentary where his mom passes away. And seeing guys ruining their own dating lives. <laughs> Please stop my tears and buy my courses. So there's nothing wrong with having an emotional side, but there is something wrong with being too emotional over text. When it comes to texting, you want to be more chill with your emojis and your hahas so that she can play the more emotional and girly role. Are you the type who listens to Drake every day and then starts crying because it's relatable? You need to toughen up fast because you're likely a simp. Now, do yourself a favor and try my clickbait opener, which legit has a 101% response rate. And try my 10 copy-paste texts, which she loves with a passion. I'm letting you try them 100% for free. The link's in the bio. And also, please subscribe to save a hamster from committing suicide. See ya. Love you.